Hey everyone, so I'm here to do a video with the new baby girl I got and I haven't announced her name yet, I know, I will tell you guys soon enough, um, but this is me undressing her and putting her in a new outfit for the first time, so she's still in the outfit she came home in and this is the outfit that I picked for her first official outfit with me. And I'm trying to debate. Okay, so this is like her little lovey. So cute. Her theme is butterflies and flowers. That was perfect. And I got these little flower, like, little flower booties or shoes. And then this is like, obviously a floral pants with a onesie, but the onesie has a rainbow on it. And I didn't even notice this. It has flowers in the rainbow how adorable is that and then it has a little cardigan that you put over it and then I'm trying to debate between this headband or this headband what do you guys think Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to put her on the changing table and change her into this. So we're going to change her. Doesn't she look adorable? I hate changing her with this cute outfit, but she has more cute outfits to wear. So this is the first time that I am changing her. And I have not even like seen her details on her legs or anything guys so oh my gosh look at how cute look at her little rolls oh my gosh do you see that guys look at her she is so precious oh I just still can't believe how adorable this baby is Oh my god, I love her legs so much. Her little details. I'm still going to do a detail video for you guys. I did not forget that. It's just been a busy week. Um, St. Patty's Day. My husband's birthday is on St. Patty's Day too. I'm going to see. I really wasn't prepared to change her diaper, but I kind of want to change her diaper. Um, let me see if I have a little diaper out here um I do not not a very prepared mommy apparently but that's okay um her diaper is not I'm just gonna pull it a little bit her diaper is not wet or anything so we're gonna keep the same one on and I'll do a changing of her diaper next time but yeah she is so adorable and I thought I'd have a story time while I changed her um, about, like, remember I had told you guys I had some explaining to do about this kit and about the another, another baby I'm getting. Um, there's a little button right there. I don't want to stretch it on her little head. So, basically this is what happened. A couple months ago, when this kit came out, so this is the... Macy kit by Cassie Brace. Um, I saw it and I fell in love. Okay, so I was like keeping an eye out. I was gonna order the kit. Then I thought, you know what? It I've ordered kits in the past and it's kind of a pain because then I have to send it to the artist. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to either find an artist to do a custom baby. Or I'm going to try to find a baby already done that an artist has done. So I didn't see any of them coming out. And like I said, she was just first released and stuff like that. So I was getting impatient. So I thought, let me just talk to an artist and have her made. So I did. I got on Instagram and I wanted to do an artist that I've never had before. I like to do different artists. Um 
just because so I can see their artwork. And I mean, there's so many amazing artists out there, guys, that I just wanted to go with a different artist um, with one from my collection that I didn't have. So I found an artist I really liked on Instagram and I messaged her and she was super nice and her babies were super cute. And there was this one baby on her Instagram that stuck out. It was not this kid. It was a different baby. Um, actually I think it was the August kit and it was her personal collection, but she painted it and it was gorgeous. The painting of her was gorgeous. Um, the hair color, which I don't want to give that away, but it had painted combo hair. Just everything. I just thought, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to ask the artist if she can do a similar painting and hair style, like combination and rooting of, um, you know, similar style of the baby that she had on her Instagram, the August kit, but for this kit, and I'm not talking about this baby. I'm just talking about the kit. So she said yes, and I was excited. I put the deposit down. Everything was great. Um, she had like a little bit of a wait um, because she had customs before me, which is fine. So I was on the waiting list. So of course, you know, of course, after that, all these cute Macy kit completed dolls kept popping up on my Instagram and on my you know, feed of Facebook and everything. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I want that one and that one and that one. I was just impatient. But anyways, so I did find this one. Um, she was already made by a different artist, not the one that I'm talking about for the customs that I already have um, going. I'm still getting that baby, um, but she is not completed yet. But this one, I've seen her on reborns.com. And then I looked up her artist on Instagram and I just fell in love and I had to get her. And I thought, you know what? I've always wanted reborn twins. So I think I'm going to make obviously her a twin with the baby I'm getting. It is the same kit. So it's going to be the Macy kit, but different artist. So my question to you guys is, do you think that is weird? Do you think, um... Like that's going to be like weird to have two kits, same kits, but from different artists. Um, hopefully that doesn't like offend anyone or offend like both of the artists that I, I got the babies from. I don't think it will, but um, let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, I'm thinking that will be great. And I mean, obviously they're not going to be identical, but they're going to be similar because they are the same sculpt. Um, but I'm just, I'm very excited to get the other baby and hopefully it will work out that they will be twins. I know they'll look different, but like similar. So I'm hoping I can pull that off, um, because that would be really cute. I've always wanted little twins, you know? So like I said, I hope it will work out. Oh my God. She just looks so cute in just this onesie. Like, look at her. She is so unbelievably gorgeous you guys look at her little rolls do you see that oh my god she is adorable like I cannot I can't get enough of her like I've never felt like this about a baby before of my collection honestly and um I know I'm gonna feel the same way about her sister so yeah I'm excited and I hope you guys will be too um I feel, I don't know, like I just feel so good about that. Like this baby right here is like, I want to take her out. Like I want to like hold her. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't hold my babies every day because I'm just too busy. I have two kids um, and I'm just always on the go. But like if I don't hold her every day since like I have only had her for a couple days, but if I don't hold her, I'm just like, oh my God, I need to go hold her. She's so cute. Like, I don't even know. So let me know if you guys feel the same way about some of your dolls. Oh my God, this is cute. This is so cute. 
She looks so adorable in this. I want to show the the rainbow. I really like the rainbow. So I don't know if I'm going to button it. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Hope everyone's having a great day. It is a little bit... The sun is out, but it's a little cloudy today. I'm in Michigan. The weather's always crazy here. It's some days this week was like 60 degrees. Now it's like low 40s and pretty cold, windy. Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's so cute. Like in everything I, well, I haven't put her in much, but like I just think she's so cute in like everything. Like honestly, I'm biased, obviously. Now I don't know, I was debating. I really like these. These are super cute, but I don't know if it goes with the outfit. So you guys, I'm gonna put them on. You tell me, it might be too deep of, I mean, there are very variegation flowers in that, but I don't know. I just, I really wanna put them on her, but I don't know if it actually matches the outfit, but we're gonna find out how it looks. So yeah, I'm not sure. I know the artist told me she started on the other Macy kit. Um, so I know that, but it's, I don't know how far she's like, if she's painting her, or if, like, like I said, she's going to have combination hair. So it's going to be a little bit different than hers. She's got lightly painted hair, which is really cute. And I think it's going to be really cute to have like two of each, like, um, I don't know. I just think it's going to be super cute to have twins. Oh my God. Okay. These are cute. I think I'm going to keep them even though I don't know if they match fully. Oh my God. She is so stinking cute. I cannot even. Okay. Okay. Now this bow. Got a flower. Or this. I think I'm going to go with the flower one. I want to see what both look like. Oh, this is cute. That's cute. Okay, so we got... Come here, sweetie. Okay, we got... Let me see if I can show you guys. This bow. Okay. Or... Let's put on the other one. Oops. Okay. Or this one. Whoops. This one's a little big, but it's still doable. I think that one's cute though. Look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the big flower just because her outfit is flower. And I think that fits pretty good. I mean, it's not a perfect fit but it is it's not falling off or anything so yeah I'll show you guys um like overall her outfit in one second I'm gonna get her little lovey out so she can hold it all right guys so here she is in her cute outfit oh she's so cute so I hope you guys are having a great day and thank you for chatting with me and letting me share that little story time with you guys. Um, so yeah, those are our plans. I'm going to do a name reveal for her. I was trying to debate if I should wait for her sister, but I, I don't think I can make you guys wait that long and I don't want to wait that long either, even though I don't know how long specifically it's going to be, but um i will let you guys know her name and i will probably do a details video also so stay tuned for that thanks guys talk to you soon